Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again, and we are now taking a look at the data used for building the Paytm dashboard. Well, there are two data sets that are available at Paytm for your digital wallet. The first data set is quite an easy data set to get, which is your transactions data. And in fact, Paytm sends you that data nowadays every single month. Although if you would want it for a longer time frame, maybe for a year or so, uh, you can just go to your app and put down that the period is one year and they will just immediately send you the data through an email. That is one. But the other problem is that if you would like to get the transactions data since the start of the time when you started using the wallet, I don't know if that is possible. Maybe you'll have to do a email fighting with them and then write into and fro emails to get that data. Anyways, that's the data for the transactions, which is the money that you spent it from the wallet. Now I'm just going to... Um, expand the columns here and let's just take take a look at the data so here we have the date of the spent in fact the time stamp as well we have the activity we have the source or the destination we have the transact the unique transaction id for the wallet spent and a comment in case you gave the money to someone or something like that and the debit and the credit the debits are the money going out the credits are the money coming in Transaction breakup is actually nothing. I've not seen anything here in this entire column. And we have the status. Uh, I think if you, everything is a success here or a refunded back. Nevertheless, that's the data. Now, there are a lot of things which are junk in the data. And uh, between the junk, there is some meat hidden. Uh, so what I've done is I've used Power Query to kind of clean the junk and extract all the relevant information from the data. That is the transactions data. I'm just going to show you the orders data, which is even worse. So here is the orders data that I have. Now, PTM does not give you the orders data at all, but there is a way to get it. I mean, you can go to your PTM uh, uh, account, go open PTM.com and then put in your credentials and then you have an order section there from there you can just scrap the data from the website and then just copy the entire page data and then paste it into excel but the problem is when you paste that data into excel the data comes something like this and obviously you have to clean the data before you can start using it um, so what i did was i again used power query to clean the data and automate the cleaning process to be able to use the data so next time when i paste it it automatically gets cleaned on its own so a couple of good things here, if you just take a look at one block here, this is one block of data. It shows you what was the money spent on, um, whether the order was successful or not, um, how much money did you spend, what was the order number, the time spent, and the total value in rupees. So uh, again, some junk here, in fact, a lot of junk here, but still, uh, if you clean this data using Power Query, you can make a lot out of it. All right, thanks so much for sticking around. I'm now going to take you through how did I actually build the dashboard? What are the mechanics of the dashboard, the moving parts in the dashboard? Stick around and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.